The rain barrels that we have today will help conserve water that we need to drink later. And there's an old Turkish proverb that says, many have lived without love, none have lived without water. My name is Joe Pitts. I'm the executive director of the James River Basin Partnership, uh, housed in Springfield, Missouri, but we actually work in the entire basin from Marshfield all the way down to Cassville on the southwest, about seven counties, a little over seven counties, a million acres of, of basin. Rain barrels are important for a couple of reasons. I think the biggest reason for rain barrels to be important is that a lot of homeowners use either their own well water or treated municipal water to irrigate their gardens. And in some ways, they're paying for that water. They have to pay for the pump to run the well. They have to pay for the treatment of the water that comes through the municipal system. If you have a rain barrel and you're collecting water off of your roof, you don't have to pay for that water other than getting the initial rain barrel set up. I've had this at my home. They respond much better to the rainwater versus treated water that may have chlorine and things like that in it. We work with federal grants through the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Natural Resources here in Missouri to get as many of these rainwater harvesting systems installed as possible in the basin. And we need the help of willing homeowners who are looking for maybe a way to have extra water to water their gardens, not have to use their own drinking water and those kinds of things. And the government money that comes requires a match. So the homeowners provide that match with sometimes their work or they will pay a certain percentage of the cost. In this particular installation, I believe it was a 60-40 split. And that means that 40% was paid by the homeowner in some way. And then the, the grant covered the 60%. And we've installed literally in the last five years, several hundred of these systems around in the basin. I think you should save every drop you can. Uh, my grandmother had a rain barrel when I was a child and she would wash her hair with that water because it's naturally soft water. The rain barrels that we have today will help conserve water that we need to drink later. And so every drop of water we save, every drop of water we don't put some chemical in and put back on the land or on the, in the rivers. That water is water we're gonna need in the future at some point, and it moves downstream. So water we're using and returning to the river will be used and returned to the river many, many times before it gets to the ocean. For more tips and how-tos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us and follow us on Facebook. Links can be found on our website at rainreserve.com.